Uh, Superfresh asks the next question. What are your views on self-driving electric cars? Dude, this is like the same thing. I mean, I love it, but I also hate it because human error, right? There are going to be way too many people who are going to be relying on the car, the self-driving car to be able to handle like, you know, accidents or like be able to react to something happening quickly. It's just not going to happen, man. You know, it's you can't can't fix that. You can't change that. You can't beat that. All right, next question goes from Anonymous. If you could merge aspects of two games, which games would they be? I would merge League of Legends. No, I wouldn't. Legend of Lagaya, and then like Final Fantasy is, so, right? Like two, a two aspects though? Okay, I would merge the Rosaru component of Legend of Lagaya into Final Fantasy VII. Our next question comes from JC Mullins. Do you think physical health plays a role when it comes to being a professional esports player? As in, is there more to becoming a great streamer than just practicing the game? Do you practice any hand exercises? Um, dude, yeah, so of course, I stretch my hands like every morning when I wake up, man, you know, I do all my little, all my little fingers and stuff like that, you know what I mean? You gotta do like the, mmm, 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 boom, boom, bow, bow, boom, 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 bow, ow, ow, ah, eh. oh, I don't know, man, I mean, I feel like there's some things that you need to prioritize, and I think eye appointments are one of them, man. There are eye exercises you can do when you wake up, or just in general. Um, for example, one that my eye doctor told me, I mean, like, is you just, you go around the world. All right, our next question comes from, is that N, I'm just gonna call him Naus. Said any new releases you're excited for can be non-gaming related. I got a pretty freaking dope Adidas release coming out, man, pretty soon. No one knows about it, hasn't even been hinted, and I'm pretty stoked. It's a collab, and it's na it's disgusting. It's disgusting. So stay tuned for that. Anonymous asks the next question. So do you think technology is advancing too quickly in what ways? And that's some deep stuff right there, bro. Dude, it's scary. Technology right now, it is definitely advancing very fast. I mean, I don't think we can, I mean, people, you know, I don't think we can slow it down. People are still trying to create AI, like 100%. Like, have they not seen all the movies? Have they not seen iRobot? No. Nothing's gonna stop humanity. They're gonna keep doing it. They're gonna keep creating. They're gonna keep inventing. And yes, 100% machines are gonna be taking more jobs. To it. Like, it's just because it's gonna be more effective than what a human can do. There's gonna be stuff that obviously can't be replaced, of course. I think it's just gonna keep going. And we're just gonna, yeah, I mean, we'll evolve. Humans will evolve. And, you know, we're gonna find out what it's gonna look like. Hey, Ninja, outside of gaming, streaming, spending time with your wife in the pubs, what are some of the other things that, that bring you joy? I love the league. I mean, dude, spending time with my, my mom and my dad and my brothers, going to the movie theater and watching a movie, which I haven't done in a year, going out to a restaurant. Enjoying dinner with Jess at a restaurant. I mean, it's, it's small stuff, man. Things like that. I don't like roller coasters, but I go on them for my wife. I go on them for Jess. Any updates on movies and voice acting? Yeah, bro. I, I've recently filmed two two voice acting roles. Uh, the movie with Ryan Reynolds should be coming out soon. Actually, I have no idea what happened to that. I feel like it's kind of like maybe it's out already. I honestly don't remember, but I don't think it's I don't think it's been released yet. Our next question is from Parker Seven. So, what is your most life changing purchase? Camera. <laughs> I mean, the camera quality is great. I, dude, I don't, I don't, I mean, dude, it's all, it's all synergy, right? Like, I mean, I have this awesome switch that I can like, you know, we, we sw switch the little, you know, little cameras around and stuff. This switchboard is awesome. Well, the stream deck for OBS, honestly, if I use this more, it'd be, you know, my baby, it's already important. But yeah, man, it's one of those things where it's like, dude, it's a fine, like a streaming, your streaming setup needs to be a finely tuned machine and, and you need everything, right? Like, it's not like, oh, this changed my life. It's like, dude, you need a solid mic with a solid this and a solid this and a solid this and monitors and this and it's this. So it's not like one purchase that really is just massively life-changing. English Muffin with the next question. What OBS do you think functions the best? I use OBS Studio and that's it. No integration, nothing. Just OBS Studio, bro. It's the greatest. It's simple. It's awesome. Uh, shout out to OBS, bro. Fun fact, one of the lead developers slash uh, coders on OBS, my neighbor. I grew up from him across the street. How weird is that? His brother? I played soccer with him for years. So crazy. I had a problem. I reached out to OBS and the guy like gave me his Twitter and like I saw the last name and I was just like, dude, I think he was like, he's like, it's me. And I'm just like, I know, like there's the, who else has that last name? Uh, JRG Pro, the next question, do you use the stream deck? Which one? I do, I use the XL one, bro. Right here, bang. Uh, I mean, dude, this thing's, this thing's legit, you know? And you can program it to do so many crazy things. Uh, you know, intro. Back to full cam. All the press of a button. It's dope. 
You can do a bunch of other stuff. You can make it play ads. You can make it tweet for you. It's insane. The an Anaya hater? The, the Anaya tater. What is one question about streaming no one even thinks to ask you, but you would give advice to give? That's a great question. I kind of just gave it, but I'll get, I'll go one more and I'll, I'll expand one more. If you're afraid to tell your friends and your family that you're a streamer or like anyone that you're a streamer, then you probably shouldn't be a streamer or like rethink if you really want to be a streamer because your friends and your family can get you off the one viewer list. Okay. When I say the one viewer list, man, I'm talking to like, hello down there. I don't see you because there's like a hundred people that have two viewers and you have zero. Tell your brothers, your sisters, your family, your friends, your uncles, your cousins. I mean, anyone who you have some relationship with. They don't have to sit there and interact in the chat the entire time and have it on loud. They can literally just turn the volume all the way down and like have it open. Get you seven, eight viewers. And then also collabing with other small streamers, man. I mean, like stay in your lane. Don't try to, you know, you're, you're a little, you're a little baby shark, dude. Don't try to eat, you know, a seal. Hit up someone who's just maybe like slightly above you. Like if you have five viewers and you're streaming a game like Among Us, I'll just use as an example, even though I don't recommend streaming Among Us to start. Go for someone who has like 10 viewers or 15 viewers. Hey man, wanna have it wanna play together? Wanna do wanna wanna duo stream? Right? If you have 20 viewers, go you know, hit up someone with 30 viewers, man. Hop in their stream, be interactive, sub to the channel, reach out to them privately. Hey man, let we should play some time, merge our communities together. Like that. Small things like that, right? Collab, you start small. Uh, all right, our next question goes from Gupta19 said, What vintage gaming system do you wish was still relevant in today's technology? Sega Dreamcast. Those little, what were they called? Pips or whatever? Mips, meeps. How does it feel being so famous? Not good. The money's great, but even then, man, money, like it can't buy happiness. It can buy things that maybe make you happy, but that stuff's temporary. <laughs> I'd rather cry in a Tesla. <laughs> Look, dude, there, there's positives and negatives to everything in life. You guys don't understand. If you have money, 90% of the time or more, you've sacrificed it you've, a lot. Relationships, family, time, love, friendships. And then you have that money. Guess what? Now you don't know who to trust. You can't trust anyone. Who's your real friends? Who's your real family? People come at, out of nowhere asking for money all the time. If you say no, you're a piece of shit. You're the worst. And they make you feel like a piece of shit. How dare you? And let me be clear. This is very important. I have to say this. This is not a pity, woe is me, feel bad for me. I'm not trying. I don't want sympathy here. I'm just stating facts, okay? This is what happens. It sucks. I understand the privilege that I have. I understand the situation that I'm in. I am blessed. I'm grateful for everything that has happened and everything that I have in my life right now. The friends that I have, the family that I have, I truly do have more than others in my position. I have a great family. I have a great wife. I have great friends. Like I'm blessed. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't feel like that when there's so many bad things going on. All right, that was it. That was the last question. Dab.